to the Market Moon Lord, where we merge the matrix with the stars. I'm your host, Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Market Moon Lord. I'm your host, Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. And today we're going to be going over the astrological transits for GME, GameStop, and try to make some predictions on the up and coming week um, for the stock. So let's just jump right into it. You guys know we've been tracking the phases of the moon, especially the new moon, full moons, the Apogee moons, and the Perigee moons, okay? The Apogee and Perigee moons is when the moons are closest and furthest away from the earth, and we tend to see little shifts and movements, and um, so it helps us get some um, information. So as you can see, those are pointed out here and here, labeled under Apogee and, and Perigee moons, okay? Now, um, we're over here. So we predicted last that on this last um, full moon, we're going to see some nice increases. And we did uh, leading up to the full moon. We saw it went up. And then again on the full moon, we it kept going up. And now we're at the new moon. Okay. I expect it to continue to go up, especially since this new moon is in the sign of Pisces. Pisces rules imagination, creativity. It rules escape and reality. This is all perfect for video game stuff, perfect energy for internet-based stuff. So this new moon is very powerful. Not to mention Venus exalted new moon. Venus is fun and indulging in things. It's perfect, perfect for video games. And it was next to the new moon in the sign of Pisces where it's exalted, where it does best. This is a very powerful, strong new moon for uh, GME and AMC. I just recorded a video for that doing the same thing if you guys are interested okay so on the new moon which will be which will already happened on saturday so the next trading day will, will be monday i do expect an increase now i'm looking at these apology moons and i the same thing was happening with gme or amc it was flat around these apology moons okay um, and then a few days, a day or so after it, it, it increases a little bit. It starts to go up. Okay. So I do kind of expect just based on that, that we're going to see a little bit of flatness the next two days. And then around Wednesday, Thursday, it should start, um, you know, increasing. That's just basing on, on the typical movements of what's happening with the full moons. We're going to go into the actual astrological planetary, planetary transits, which is going to give us a lot more details on exactly what's going to happen, what's going to happen. But yeah, mark your calendars for around the, the, the 18th and the Alchemy moon to start to really see the volatility pick up right before Triple Riching Day, the 19th. So that's looking pretty interesting. And I also have the, the 18th right here, which is also, or the 28th right here of March, which is the full moon, which could also be some type of climax energy. Uh, and I do see that could be happening. Um, but if it happens, expect it to flatten out a couple days after or fall a little bit a couple days after if it follows that type of um, trail. Okay. Now, um, and I say that here on um, this perigee moon, you saw how it was at the top and then it, and then went down. Okay, but now on this perigee moon, we had the opposite effect. Okay, so if this goes up and then it goes up again on the full moon, I expect it to go down on this perigee moon. But if it goes up and then on the full moon it goes down, then maybe on the perigee moon it goes up. Okay. Um, but you know, if, if you guys want to see what I'm going to think real time, follow me, follow me on Twitter at the market moon Lord. That's where I'm going to be posting daily throughout the week on exactly what I think that's going to be happening in real time. Stay tuned. Um, but, um, historically speaking, um, it, it might probably go down because that's going to be right after the moon is waxing. We always see a lot more, um, movement. Well, the first time we saw the climax, we had which is this green area we had at the end of it, a, a, the climax, right? And then over here, we didn't really see much on the waxing and we saw the opposite effect on the waning. Okay. So maybe now on the wane on the waxing again, it's going to pop. And then the waning is going to start right there on the perigee and then it could fall. 
Okay. So this whole period right here is going to determine a lot. So stay tuned. Now let's jump right into the, the transits on this new moon for AMC or excuse me, for GME was on March 13th, um, around 5 a.m. And we're going to see exactly what was happening on the moon. Just kind of get an idea of what to expect until the full moon for um, GameStop. Now, one thing I want to say, there's a very powerful new moon. It taking place in Pisces. The moon likes Pisces. It's a water sign. Um, and it's so is Scorpio, but the moon doesn't like Scorpio. So that's a different story. So, but it does like Pisces. It does like Cancer. It does do good in water signs. It does do great for Hollywood because Hollywood is represented by Pisces, by Neptune, the illusion, the imagination, the creativity, the fake world, the non realistic world, the fantasy, all Hollywood type stuff. And that's why Neptune is also very powerful here because it also represents Hollywood. It also represents, um, or excuse me, it also represents video. Did I, did I start talking about Hollywood again? I, AMC, Jamie, they're in the same boat. I mean, Hollywood, um, video games, escaping reality, going to different dimensions. It's all Pisces stuff. It's all AMC stuff. It's all GME stuff. It's all money. It's all going to the moon. Okay, I'm getting excited. Anyway, now Venus is also exalted in Pisces. So this is very, very bullish for anybody in those type of industries. And I'm going to call it out right now. Any industry that's in um, dealing with creativity, um, dealing with the waters, like like shipping and stuff like that, because Pisces rules the the, the oceans. All that stuff looks amazing, um, and it's not ironic that all these digital art things are popping off right now. Think about it. Okay, this is perfect for Venus as the artist. It does great in Pisces because it gets to indulge in the art, indulge in creativity indulge in a video game okay Fortnite all day just kidding don't play that i'm a halo guy um anyway so back to gme so this is the new moon very very bullish as you can see um um gme has a venus exalted in in pisces that's that's so crazy because you know it it's like amazing for what they do. Okay. It also has a moon in Pisces, which is amazing for what they do. So new moon in Pisces, they have a moon in Pisces. Don't you guys think that's pretty bullish energy? Venus in Pisces. Don't you think that's pretty bullish, bullish energy? There's a new beginning for GME with this energy. Okay. All day, all day during this new moon, the moon will sex down Uranus. Uranus will make things volatile for the stock and in a good way because it's sextile and Uranus is about breakthroughs and pioneering to the future. So yeah, a, a, a GME is going to be moving fast this week. Oh yeah, Jupiter sextiling Mars and Pluto. Mars is energy. Mars is a spark. Mars is the beginning. Mars is the first one. Mars is a warrior. Mars is a fighter. Mars is energy. Jupiter's expansion. Pluto is transformation. Okay, power. Okay, so expect transformations this week for GME. Expect volatility this week for GME and expansion in a good way. Saturn trying Saturn. Okay, um, Saturn is structures. This is the structure of GME. So they are they're really changing the structures of GME. And then we have a Mars that's pulling up on the Saturn. So expect some type of structural change for GME this week. Could be new changes in the hierarchy. Could be new platforms getting released. Um, but something new is definitely in the, in the works. I mean, this this chart looks really good. This chart looks really good. So Monday is going to come off to a really, really strong start for GME. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's square this, this North Node. So GME is really getting pushed to go to go hard right now because it was square to the north node and nord the node is destiny okay so that new moon was like hitting the north node of destiny saying hey we're gonna make this happen hey you need to do this we need to go forward that's what that means okay so on this day on monday we get the exact square to the node with the sun okay so there i wouldn't be surprised if we get some news on gme involving the reputation of GME and some type of changing in the hierarchy, the management, um, or the rules of some sort. Okay. This is about, you know, authority stuff. Okay. Um, and this is about destiny stuff. So there's something getting changed with GME this week. I guarantee it. Wouldn't be surprised if we get some type of news. 
Overall, this looks amazing, though. The chart looks good. Um, but there are going to be changes happening that are going to be a little uncomfortable with the company. But the, as far as like the stock market, I see a very bullish energy here. All right, I'm on a Tuesday. We get a square to Mercury. So, yeah, I'm seeing some type of news happening. Zero degree Mercury. Wow, okay. And then, oh, yeah. This is a very strong position for the moon because at the last degree of Aries. And this is very strong for Mercury to be at zero degrees Aquarius. Aries, Aries is, is the first one. Does like to be the best. Does like to be number one. Aquarius likes to destroy the old and bring in the new. Um, so, yeah, there's something new happening rapidly for GME this week. Something new happening rapidly for GME. The news is going to be fast if we get any. There's something, yeah, something is changing for GME. And then the, the moon is going to jump into Taurus after that on Wednesday, and things are going to settle down, whatever that is. So I think there's going to be some type of news, some type of buzz happening the first two days of for GME. I do see volatility, but in a good way, I see expansion. We, we come into Wednesday, I start to see, see things hopefully settling down, consolidating. Um, but gravity pull is still going to be towards GME because it is sextiling the moon. Moon is gravity, pulls things in. Um, so if anything, there's going to be a slow gradual increase of buying pressure for GME starting on Wednesday and things are going to stable out nicely. Um, and then Mars is starting to really pull up on the Saturn probably on Thursday or on Friday. So there's a build up with that Mars for sure. And the moon is also sextile Uranus. Uranus can make things volatile in a square of the moon or a square of Mars. Um, so I, I'm seeing some fluctuation energy here. But um, at some point, some consolidating energy as well. But definitely a build up. I'm really curious on that Mars pulling up on, on Saturn. Okay, so on Thursday, Mars will pull up on Saturn. And that's happening right here, guys. Um, during that time, the moon is making all kinds of aspects to the sun and Uranus. And then Mercury conjunct Venus coming up into the next day. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of information on GME this week. Sextiling Mercury. Um, so I'm seeing some good and bad. And the analogy I have, again, for that would be, you know, change of management. You might have to fire someone, bring someone new in. It could be that kind of stuff. But they're jumping into the, in the future quickly. I mean, they're not hesitating with this. Um, they're strategizing, but they're executing that strategy quickly. Mars conjunct Saturn right here. Also trying Neptune um, conjunct Saturn. There's something brand new happening that they're probably going to announce, I think, this week. It's going to change the, the reputation of the company. So they could be announcing that they're going to be closing, closing up physical stores and going into the online market officially, just or exclusively. But yeah, that's I'm seeing some good and bad. But overall, I'm seeing very strong energy towards buying the stock with the Saturn conjunct um, Mars and and um and um and Gemini very fast moving and then Paji Moon. Remember, we we expect to increase around this time. Around the, the the around after the 18th, we expect an increase because the Apogee Moon is on the 18th, and we're looking at the 18th right now, and that's right when Saturn is going to be squaring the Sun and stuff. So yeah, I do see a little mm, uh, things could be fighting out a little bit still on Friday on Thursday, but then on Friday, this Moon does go into Gemini, very fast moving sign. And then it's going to be conjunct the Mars, which is very fast. And it's going to be on top of uh, GME Saturn. 
So this is very strong energy for just things getting pulled towards GME, aka the, you know, the people buying the stock. There could be some interesting news happening at the end of the week too. That's very expansive energy. Cause you know, GME has an exalted cancer just like um Jupiter and Cancer, just like AMC does. And they're getting a nice touch. Or it GME's getting a nice touch from Mercury at the end of the week. And and Jupiter is a uh that R right there represents you know, it being retrograde mesh represents it being like backwards is very powerful or it's going backwards. Actually, speaking, it's very, very powerful. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some type of announcement towards the end of the week. Something creative coming out because Mercury being Pisces is very creative placement for Mercury, even though Mercury is debilitated in Pisces, it still gets interesting results there and that trying to Jupiter can be very lucky, very good. So expect things to be very fast on Friday for both GME and AMC. Yeah. So we have a lot of like Jupiter touches. We got Jupiter right here, which is going to be sextiling um, Mars. GME's Mars right there. And then we have GME's Jupiter getting a triumph from Mercury. So this is very expansive energy, very lucky energy as well. Venuses are not making any aspects, but remember, Venus is very strong right now. It's conjunct the sun and it's exalted sign of Pisces. And the sun's very strong being in the last two degrees of Pisces. So this is a very strong build up energy as well. So guys, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some really strong movements um, this week, but I also wouldn't be surprised if um, it, it bleeds into Monday and next week because um there still looks like a lot of build-up energy is happening. So stay tuned for next week. Guys, this week, if you guys want to keep up on what's happening in real time, follow me at the Market Moon Lord on Twitter at the Market Moon Lord, where I pretty much um, make predictions daily there. Um, and then also don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for listening and liking the video. I am going to do a more fun video and, and more, uh, you know, uh, cut and um, edited video where, you know, it's very fast and I just throw some dates to you and get some visuals in there. But I just want to get you guys some information. Hopefully you guys like this type of reading too. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a lot, but the people who, who understand astrology will, will follow me most likely. Um, but guys, keep, keep paying attention. Um, I, as you watch, astrology and get to know astrology you'll pick up things as you go and you know you'll start to under understand more and more and more um so yeah good luck everybody this week i'm in it with you diamond hands until next time i'm jason alexander the blue moon of neptune peace jason alexander the blue moon of neptune